What a surprise. You find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one if you dumped on the floor there. How are you? Hey. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. Come with you boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <A party. laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. <laughs> they leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. It's 
smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep digit. Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. It's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on! What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Everyone ready? All right. Let's head out. Good. Now come on. Let's ride.
Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. So my Come fault. on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh -huh. Train. Ah! That's what we're doing, kid. You got him? I ain't got a clear shot. Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake him up a little! Catch him up! Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there... Might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. <laughs> Okay, get on the train, quick. Oh, for Lord's sake, put that book away and go hell. Oh, Mary Beth. So, are we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch.
Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. <laughs> 